this makes no sense. Like this, this such thing is kind of over engineering something. Sometimes a good old lock just works fine. So you never trust technology. This is now Skyfall. I actually really like this movie. I'm not saying this for the camera. I actually really like this movie and the hacking scene was actually like pretty cool because it's not real at all. And I think the fact that he was just in a bright white room doing the hacking was so fun. I want to know what's on that computer. Computer. Whoa, this terminal's black and white. Look, that, that's four monitor setup. That's got to be at least a 70 inch television. And all those bright white lights, if you had real hackers working for you, I don't think they'd be working in this basement with <laughs> new bright white lights that. He's running five monitors at 70 inches, like one at 70 inches. The other ones look at least like 40 inches on a laptop. How does a laptop have that many display outputs? I'll never know. If you think you have all this setup, you could get like a real tower computer. Like you're lugging all these monitors into this underground place, but then you still have a laptop. Can you get past them? I invented them. Right then. Well, he needs two ethernet connections. Oh, he must be running like a hundred gigabit Wi-Fi in this underground cavern. Not even Wi-Fi, sorry, internet. It just feels very unnecessary. I feel like it's added for dramatic effect. Also, like the Ethernet connector is probably one of my favorites, but probably also one of my least favorites as well. It has a really satisfying click when you push it in. But I've also had a lot of the plastic things at the end break off. So, you know, zero for durability, 10 for like satisfaction. It's my rating of the Ethernet connector. We're in. We're in. That's a really cool animation. Those are really mean, man. The reason a lot of these movies use like the 3D renders and these kind of complicated terminals with text spamming everywhere is that a lot of people don't know a lot about programming or hacking for that matter. So anything that looks remotely complicated and confusing can kind of pass the sniff test, I guess you could call it, for a lot of average viewers who don't spend all their day looking at lines of code and, and, and terminals. And it just looks really cool in a movie. You want your movie to look cool and people to talk about, oh wow, that was a cool animation. But that's about it really. I, I think a lot of things in this world are just, we do it because it's cool. Why did we build a massive two level airplane to fit 800 people on it? Because it was cool and it was big. It's not efficient. It costs a lot of money. They don't build them anymore. But why did we do it? Because it's big and cool. Whatever it was, that line render we saw in Skyfall is just something I'd expect to see at like a festival on like a big screen behind a DJ. But you forgive me for not putting up the bunting. Is bunting a British word? Do you know what bunting? This this whole movie is not technically accurate. I mean, just look at the prisoner. They put him in a glass box. Like, can how a little bit strong the material to hold someone who is supposedly really dangerous and can remove his jaw. Whoa, a word in the, the hexadecimal code that is somehow related to... But I, I don't have anything to say again. This is real. Hexadecimal code is basically like a numbering system. So you have decimal, hexadecimal, and you can also convert to binary. So it's all different forms of numbers, but with hexadecimal, you can also assign letters and numbers together. And in this scene, they're showing that somehow it perfectly makes a word that kind of came out of nowhere. And Hexadecimals can be used for like a number of things. You can use them for colors, for example. So there is a hex color code uh, that's used pretty frequently in design or programming. It's basically just like a numbering system, just like you would have with decimals. <laughs> Now he used the hexadecimal word for the old metropolitan tube station to um, decrypt the whole thing, which I think is now a map of underground tunnels in London. London. It's London. Subterranean London. Subterranean London. Why are the doors open? Why do you have all the doors in your building with such high tech all like connected as like IoT internet thing devices? This makes no sense. Like this, this such thing is kind of over engineering something. Sometimes a good old lock 
just works fine. So you never trust technology. If you're ever in a position where, you know, you go to a, a park, you find a rubber duck in a lake, and you're like, oh, this is cool. You pick it up and it has a USB in it, right? You'll think, oh, I want to go plug this in, right? If you have any level of internet or computer knowledge, you should know that you should not plug in like random things into your computer. And this guy is running a malicious piece of code or encryption thing on his computer, right? And that's not the worst thing. His computer is network connected. If you're going to plug in a random USB, you ideally want it completely isolated from the outside world so you don't infect a network or other computers or anything like that. But this guy, we literally watched him plug in two, not one, two ethernet cables to the outside world or whatever. And he was running malicious code on his like beefy ass laptop with five monitors. The stupidity here is insane because it's just so inaccurate. That is just a basic thing of like, huh, maybe I shouldn't plug this malicious code into my network connected computer, which I use for everything in my super secret underground MI5 base. Just an idea.